Let's look at how to import D2L content into a course. You can do this at the start of the semester when you have a blank course shell, or you can do this during the semester when you need to copy just a few items. Remember, it doesn't replace the content in your course, it just adds to it. First, go to the D2L course shell that you wanna copy the content into. On the top right corner, click the gear icon. Now select Import, Export, Copy Components. Make sure the first radio button is selected for copy components from another org unit. Then click Search for Offering. In the search bar on the top left, enter the course you are searching for. The more information you can enter, the better. I know I want to copy the content for my Math 055 Spring 2020 course, so I'll type Math 055 Spring 20. Don't forget to click the magnifier icon or it won't search. For my search, I have two options. Select the radio button next to the course you want to copy. Then click Add Selected. If you know you want to copy everything from that course, you can click the blue Copy All Components button and be done. I rarely copy an entire course, so I choose Select Components. Now's the fun part. You get to pick and choose what you copy. Let's look at the options first. Content. This is just the content structures, folders, etc. It does include the files associated. You'll need to copy the files by clicking Include Associated Files. Course files are all of the additional files that may not be allocated to a content folder. Discussions includes the forum and the topic. It does not include any discussion posts that students or yourself may have made. Assignments are any assignments that you've created in the D2L course. Grades copies a whole gradebook design. It includes outside assignments such as those imported from a publisher site or paper assignments where you just enter the grade into the gradebook. If you don't want to recreate a whole gradebook, you can copy the grades and then just delete the sections you won't use. Grade settings are how your gradebook is designed, weighted grades, point values, etc. Groups. If groups were designed for group work or group assignments, the structure is transferred. You'll still need to enroll any students. Announcements. Any announcements that were created in the previous course will transfer. If you use links within your announcements, it's easier to copy the announcement to your new course and then just edit the dates and any other information that may have changed. Release conditions. Only release conditions that reference or are attached to other components are copied at the same time as that component. For example, if a quiz has a release condition that refers to a content topic, the release note is only copied if both the quiz and the content topic are copied at the same time. If you copy release conditions without selecting any other component, there's no action. Rubrics. If you created rubrics and want to use them as they are, definitely copy them. They're a beast to recreate. But if you need to edit a rubric, think really hard about how many edits you need to make. Sometimes it's easier to create a new rubric than to try to edit an existing one. Course appearance. If you've altered the image on the homepage, this is how you copy that over. Tool display name. This is how the tools are named within our D2L courses. At PPCC, we don't have control over these names, so it doesn't matter if you import this or not. Once you've made your selections, click Continue. Any of the items you marked as select individual items to copy will show on the next pages. Then you get to choose the individual items you want to copy. Clicking that tiny plus button next to an item's name expands it to show additional nested items. 
For example, with discussions, I can select all of the discussions to copy or just certain ones. Once you've made your selections, click continue. If you've checked select individual items to copy for multiple components, you'll see a new page for each of those and you will continue to select the content you want to copy. Once you've gone through all of the content, you'll get to the final confirmation screen. This is where you'll confirm the components to copy. Verify that everything you want to copy is listed, then click the finish button. Notice that copying is in progress. This bar will continue until all of our content is copied over. I know it's a bit tedious the first time, but once you learn what each component is, it becomes easier to select what you do and don't want to copy. Have a great semester. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me a comment on what D2L video I should make next.